this is my second day wash and go hair but I'm here to discuss the products that you guys seen me use just yesterday to wash my hair and condition my hair um, I'm I can't I don't feel comfortable doing a full out review about the line of conditioners I use only because I only had a sample size and I only had the there was only enough to only use it once so what I'm going to do on the conditioner side I'm gonna give you guys my initial thoughts and views on the products itself but when it comes to the shampoo that I use which is actually soap um, I've used it several times now so I feel like I can give an accurate review on it so I'm gonna start with the shampoo which is like I said it's actually soap it's Dr. Woods Shea Vision it's black soap with organic shea butter I initially um, started using this for my face because I have for some reason living in Texas I've developed these crazy red bumps on my face that are unexplainable they're not pimples they're not zits they're, they're not filled with anything but they just randomly come so um, I wanted to find a natural solution for that and since my skin is pretty sensitive I can't use a whole lot of products so I found this at vitamin world for about 11 bucks and I figured I'd give it a try uh, if you look I've used quite a bit of this I liked it on my face probably not an everyday uh, cleanser for me only because it dried out my skin and left uh, dry patches for a while but my oil of Olay moisturizer rectified that issue but it was a really good cleanser for for my face as for using it as a shampoo what I did was I put some of this in an applicator bottle and I diluted it with water I gave it about a half and half solution and you guys you know what I really that I'm I really like this I really truly like this as a shampoo because I've been on the search and for the on the hunt for a good shampoo that doesn't completely strip my hair but leaves my scalp clean with no success until now I'm hesitant on putting it on my holy grail list only because I want to see what it will do through time but I absolutely positively loved my results uh, when it came to shampooing it cleansed my scalp and I, I'm somebody that actually has this itchy scalp so it cleansed my scalp so nicely it felt good it rinsed out well it did not strip my hair my hair was still moisturized and my scalp was clean so that was a good combo for me loved it um for my wash and go I decided to go ahead and use Miss Good Hair Conditioners um the first one was the Lang Lang conditioner and detangler. This is that conditioner you use when you're in the shower. You put it in, detangle your hair, rinse it out. Um, it was okay. Um, the detangling went past really fast, which was really good. I had I didn't lose a lot of hair, and considering I spent a whole week basically not combing through my hair, and I only lost maybe a little ball like this of hair this wasn't bad at all the slip wasn't all there but it did help with detangling so I can't complain about it but I do tend to like conditioners that have a bit of a slip and um, as you guys know I do the LCO method so I do a liquid cream and then an oil again if you check out how I wash my hair you will see me doing the LCO method I use the tropical pineapple Miss Good Hair conditioner. Um, it's a leave-in conditioner and detangler. It actually was smelling really good yesterday. I had no complaints about it. Um, it didn't give me that fruity smell that I thought it would considering it was pineapple. But it wasn't a horrible smell at all. Um, detangling with this was really fast, easy, and nice. It, it was I have no complaints about this product at all and then I followed 
followed up with my vanilla curl cream from Miss Good Hair. Uh, there's still a little product in here. It was it was nice and creamy, and it assisted very well with detangling my hair. Um, it feel it's it's so moisturizing. It feels like you put lotion in your hands after you're done with uh, the product, applying the product, and it left my hair feeling pretty silky, pretty nice, very manageable. So um, I appreciate the free samples from Miss Good Hair. Uh, I was not asked to do a review on these products. It was something that um, a Facebook friend told me they were giving out free samples and to check out their website. So I went ahead and did it. And I was like, let me try it out, see what it does, see if this would be something I would add to my hair regimen or not. Um, the prices that I saw, it was about $8.99 for conditioners, which is not bad considering how well my results were. I wouldn't mind purchasing it, honestly. And um, the smells were nice. It, it wasn't anything horrid. It didn't smell like chemicals or anything like that. I, but I really do like the Vanilla Curl Cream. Um, I would love to actually try this product again. Um, so, Miss Good Hair, if you see me, please give me a shout out because I would really love to give an accurate review of this product but other than that I really enjoyed my initial results of it and as for um, the black soap um, this this is gonna be around for a little while I, I'm enjoying it on my face um, for those that are kinda concerned about the smell it has a weird smell uh, somebody that I talked to said it was a masculine smell. I can't describe the smell, but the smell lingers. I can still smell it in my hair right now. So if you go to the store and you smell it and you don't like it, you may not want to purchase it, but the smell does not bother me and I love the results. So all in all, everything that you saw me use in my what I do on wash day video, uh, that's everything I'm reviewing right now. I love the combo. I have no complaints. So they get two ups for me for now. But um, that's it. Um, for all of you guys that were wondering about my fitness journey, which isn't a journey, it's a lifestyle choice. I'm actually doing pretty well. I'm gaining more muscle. So, and I'm still working on the eating clean thing, but you guys will hear more about that in another video. But until next time, lovies, I love you guys. Stay blessed. Catch you on the next episode, all right? Bye.